The debate was about Facebook um, uh, and whether it should be used by learning providers or whether it should be banned by learning providers. Um, and it's a, it's a debate that's been going on across learning providers in the region and across the country for, for some years now, you know, ever since Facebook came out and was very popular. Um, should you allow it within your, on, on your network or should you ban it? The idea was to give people a chance to sort of um, express a view about a current topic, you know, and that seemed the best way to do it, to give, you know, a couple of people introdu introducing it at two minutes each. We know from our research within our institutions that learners today need to feel connected to be part of a community, with 87% of our learners participating in social networking and 85% of those using Facebook. It continues to grow and grow. Whether or not you use Facebook as part of your delivery and learning, in the context of FE with 14 to 19 year old learners, Facebook is a valuable resource for providing that sense of connection amongst learners, friends, across the curriculum provision and across an organisation. Who's to say that seeking the advice of a peer across Facebook isn't beneficial to learners in their day-to-day -day life at college? We know from the research in the GIST funded Hello project that having an online interaction with each other made the learners help learners make friends much more easily. Eliminating anxieties about being a new student in a new environment. If Facebook is an issue in the classroom, ask yourself, is that to do more with classroom management rather than the technology itself? If we ban Facebook in a learning provider, where do we stop? Do we ban every Web2 technology that learners engage with? YouTube, Twitter. Obviously there are protocols to think about with regards to using Facebook. However, we are experienced practitioners and are capable of seeing the advantages to using such technology to embed imaginative ways to engage our learners. Right, I'm going to take the case against. I feel that it's very much, uh, we should not be allowing Facebook in the colleges because I do feel that uh, the use of Facebook and uh, other social websites such as Facebook are very much not about the core business of learning and really if students want to use Facebook and communicate with each other and other people outside the organisation they should be doing that at home in their social time, not at college. There's a huge problem around, as Lucy mentioned, the classroom management. It's extremely difficult to manage a classroom when you've got a number of students um, with screens turned away from the tutor, they're looking at Facebook, they're doing all sorts of uh, things that they shouldn't be doing and that can be a real problem and I think it can be very disruptive. So I really think that Facebook is, is a step too far for, for students. We did a check about uh, 18 months ago in, in terms of network monitoring of websites when Facebook was allowed for, for staff and some students and discovered that Facebook was the most used site of any website at all by twice. So it was way more than even Google it was in use. So having stopped that, it just uh, reduces the amount of disruption and reduces the amount of network traffic in the college. Um, the other big area around safe, um, around the use of Facebook, which we've been looking at this morning actually, is, is cyberbullying, the, the amount of harassment and bullying that goes on student to student between peers is really difficult to manage. And in an organisation, in an FE environment, particularly when you've got 14 to 16 year olds, can be very, very difficult to monitor because the, the Facebook sites are often uh, held privately and they can't be monitored and that makes it extremely difficult to manage the, the causes for concern and disciplinaries that may ensue from harassment um, issues. Um, we, we have to have a very um, clear policy on staff and the use of Facebook and for that reason we've stopped staff using Facebook in college as well. It is one of the issues that you find t everybody talks about. I go around talking to, to colleges about e-safety, about keeping people safe on the web, you know. And essentially, most of the e-safety sessions I end up discussing at the end, what should we do about Facebook? You know, should we use it, shouldn't we use it? So, it, so it's, it's a hot topic as far as, as far as most colleges are concerned. And I think the reason why it's, it's, it's up for debate now is that more and more colleges are beginning to use it and to allow it on their networks. Um, and they see it as having some value for, for themselves and for their students. Um, and so there are still, but there are still some colleges who say, no, 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 it's a distraction, we mustn't have it on the, on the campus. So you've got these, you have got two sides, basically. 